Welcome back in here on WKYT. This should be a real interesting segment. Clinical trials are crucial research tools for medical breakthroughs, but they can't happen without willing participants. Dr. John Pappas and Ashley Kreigel are joining us this afternoon from Kentucky Medical Research with the latest trials going on now and how you might be the ideal candidate to participate. Thank you very much for coming in. And it is very interesting. Dr. Pappas, are there a lot of trials always ongoing? What's out there right now? Sure, well, we have about uh, 10 or 12 different diseases under study at Kentucky Medical Research. And uh, for example, diabetes, we have several trials involving diabetes, uh, uh, several GI trials, several lung trials, rheumatology, pain, etc. So I'd encourage anybody that has an interest in research maybe to look at our website or call our office and it really goes into detail about some of the trials that we're doing. Because it could be different Very age groups, it can be different issues. I know you've, you've also set a smoking uh, cessation program for teenagers, right? What, right. what? Tell us a little more about that. Sure, well, we are looking at uh, smoking cessation in uh, teenagers, not as anybody 12 to 16 years of age that wants to quit, that smokes at least five cigarettes per day, would be a good candidate for participating in the clinical trial. Dr. Kreigel, you're new to this group. What uh, what lured you in? What interested you in this area? Well, I tell you, um, I got a doctorate in pharmacy prior to obtaining my doctorate in medicine at UK, and so I began as a pharmacologist. And so research is, is in my bones and in my blood, whether, whether I admitted it or not at first. And um, I think research is just such a compelling field for any clinical physician and any non-clinical practitioner because it so involves every aspect of medicine and advances the practice of medicine and helps society in ways that a single physician in a clinic can't quite do, can't quite impact so many different yeah. people. Quickly talk about the benefits of people taking part in these uh, trials to make themselves right. personally as well as to society. Uh, that's exactly right. So for, for the people that come, the thing that has struck me about Kentucky Medical Research and the research practice in general with patients is that you get such close care. Patients are seen for a very long time per visit in comparison to the clinic setting. And they're so carefully followed. The lab works, the EKGs, the spirometry if it's a lung study. So all the different tests are so very detailed and discussed with the patient. And any little change in their condition is monitored so carefully. So that's such a blessing to patients that are used to the mill of patients kind of running through in the clinic setting. Also, patients need to know that they are helping society. They can feel very good about themselves and what they're doing and that it's a safe process. It's something that's so carefully looked at by the physicians that practice as well as the FDA. Also, the, the participants do get, get money. They get paid for their, their time and their trouble. Their travel is paid for. Their visits are paid for. Win, win, win. Very interesting, uh, yes. Yeah. As you said, Dr. Pappas, check out that website to see more about it. It is uh, KentuckyMedicalResearch.com. All right, and we'll Thank be you. back 